Yo, come back to my channel. Today we have a tear down and clean of this Logitech V470 cordless Bluetooth laser mouse. Wow, the model number sounds exciting. V470. Okay, I got this uh, mouse at the marketplace. I've been looking for it for quite some time. I found this uh, reasonably priced at $10 and it's being posted to me so I don't have to travel and pick it up. Let's have a 360 look at this mouse. So uh, overall it's made of plastic. The top emerald part is made of shiny uh, plastic but the bottom part is matte black. So the size of this mouse uh, from tip to base is 12 cm, side to side the wider part is 10.5 cm. Functions wise apart from the left right center click, there's a scroll wheel and the left right scroll. So later on into the video we'll see how the actuators look like. So for this mouse it's operated on two AA batteries. So the Bluetooth protocol is the 2.4 uh, gig gigahertz and the Bluetooth 2.0. The laser light is a uh, colorless and there is a uh, on off button, connect button. So now we are moving into dismantling it. Uh, if you see right, I'm using a pen knife and the back of the blade and trying to pry it out. But because if you are using the sharp part of the blade, right, it would cut the mouse scape. So for this project, right, I'm not gonna buy replacement uh, skates unless I'm gonna sell it in the future or am I gonna am I going to use it? Otherwise, I'll just uh, preserve the skates and use it for later. From the functions of the mouse, right, you can say that it's a productivity mouse because of the left and right scroll and also uh, the Bluetooth function. The weight wise is uh, 108 gram including the batteries. As you can see here for the mouse feet, I'm actually drenching it with uh, Goo Gone. Um, just putting it there for 15 minutes, it should dissolve the sticky uh, substance and you'll be quite easy to peel off later and reuse the skates. So looking at it closer, we see that there is uh, two screws reveal after removing out the mouse gates and there's four more at the bottom part. So for all these uh, screws are using a uh, uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver. The bigger screws, four pieces are the bigger thread and two more pieces are the uh, finer uh, Phillips thread. Additional information about this mouse, right? For the batteries, it should last you approximately four months from fresh ones, and the range, uh, I mean the distance uh, for it to be effective will be under 10 meters. After removing the six screws, right, the bottom or the base part should uh, be able to pry it off uh, easily. After some digging, right, I found out that for this mouse, it's first uh, launched in the market late 2007 and one of the tech sites, right, they were retailing it at $155. Wow! L looking at the retail price, you will be uh, targeting at the premium market for the business person or the very, very tech savvy, up to date uh, um, hobbyist. first glimpse of the inside so the inside looks relatively dusty as compared to the outside I guess the seller before stripping it to me had cleaned the, the outside a fair bit inside is a bit dusty but later on we'll be able to clean it up and uh, the board itself is fairly uh, populated and immediately I see that there is a power cable we need to remove before we can work more on it So for guys, if you are using this video to fix your uh, damaged mouse, right? Next, what we'll be gonna do is removing the uh, scroll wheel. At first, it might feel a bit scary. It might, uh, you might think that you are breaking something, but usually it's quite uh, easy to remove, and the plastics are quite hard. 
Next, we have a quite obvious uh, Philips screw right smack in the center of the board that we need to remove before we can uh, lift up the whole PCB. So out of the uh, screws, only this one is in silver and the uh, board lifts up um, quite uh, easily. Then you can see that from the base of the case, there's some dirt on top of uh, and back of the board, there's some dirt. Later, we'll use some contact cleaner to uh, scrub it. So for the left and right screw is using this four pole uh, sensor and on the left and right switches is using uh, Omron. Thanks to the lighting, we are able to catch the reflection. Then the uh, screw wheel is using a light sensor and the center click is also uh, four pole ones. So in the future, if you are uh, replacing it, this parts are fairly uh, available on the mouses in case you have damaged mouses don't throw it away uh, keep it around uh, who knows when we need to hover some parts from there next the cleaning of the top bottom case scroll wheel um, i'll be using this uh, alcohol web white to give it a good rub um, and most uh, attention will be between the joint lines be uh, from the top bottom and medium piece for the emerald colored uh, plastic it's removable so I'll use my uh, screwdriver to point it up over here it's attached by uh, the left and right click there's a hook part and there's two clips pointed over here now just a slight, slight pressure to uh, compress it and it should uh, lift off so these are really thin plastic when you are trying uh, to remove it try not to uh, exert too much force otherwise uh, you'll break So from here that we can observe the main IC is uh, procured from Broadcom and here is the model number for the Omrons if you need any replacement. It's always good to have a good set of uh, soldering iron before you are uh, attempting to remove these switches. Before moving on to um, assembly, I have missed out cleaning of the bottom case. Let's give it a, give it a good uh, scrub and clean, then we should be on our way. So while moving it, um, if you notice the on off ship switch has uh, dropped out. So a uh, rule of thumb that I follow is uh, before starting a uh, dismantle, put the switch to the off position. Then when you are um, assembling it, right? Uh, it's uh, easy for you to remember it's always on the uh, off position this is to avoid breaking any switches on the board itself usually the manufacturers are kind enough to design the on off switch in uh, one orientation so it will only go in uh, in one way
installing the uh, PCB board is quite straightforward so for this case you'll put it in from the bottom uh, the two legs there first slotting it in and pressing it down it should uh, sit flush uh, easily because when we remove it it was uh, with ease so going in shouldn't be uh, that much of a hassle not forgetting the tiny screw that secures the board to the base So next, the scroll wheel. For guys who have been following my past videos, uh, recently I like to uh, apply some silicone grease on the contact parts of the scroll wheel, the pivots and also where the uh, switches uh, contact. So this is to give it a smoother uh, uh, movement. And if you notice for this scroll wheel, right, below there is no spring. So um, in this case, I don't think so because uh, the wheel is being propped up by three switches. So every switch itself, there is some uh, tension on the spring. From here, the scroll wheel would sit in easily, but I have already seen there's a flaw with this design because on the later mouse right the screw is being attached by two pivoting points whereas for this one it's just uh, just a single one i feel that it might uh, um, so-called affect the left and uh, right scroll movement next to install the uh, battery leads otherwise you will be scratching your head how come the batteries are there but there's no power followed by installing the top part of the shell uh, we'll secure half of the screws first and do some preliminary uh, test on the functions once the tests are okay then we can uh, fully uh, close it up After installing the battery, it took maybe around 2 seconds for the light to start glowing. Uh, it's being sensed by the laptop and everything should be working fine. The scroll wheel, the movement and now we are testing the left right clicks. For fans of teardown and cleaning of used mouse, if you have not subscribed, do click on the subscribe button so this is to encourage me to make more videos. If you have liked this video, uh, do uh, click on the like button as well. Thank you. Installing the top part of the plastic, uh, I would strongly recommend um, putting it on from the two thin pieces of uh, clips first, gently setting it in, then uh, we'll follow up with the left and right clip parts. Everything seems good, so we should proceed with uh, securing the balance of the screws. So after removing the previous um, double-sided tape on the original skates, now I'm applying some new ones and uh, they are good to go. If you have stayed till now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that's the end for today. Signing off, this is Restore Refurb Works. See you in the next one.